This is another line and wash watercolor. In, it's in part of a series. They all have the same ambiance, the same presence about them, so that you can use them in a series, like put them on a wall, four or five of them together, and I speeded it up a little bit here. We're running at uh, 1.5 so that it wouldn't take so long to do the drawing. I thought it was possibly a bit boring to just sit and watch me push the pen around. I sure like doing these little line and wash watercolor flowers. They um, bring me a lot of pleasure. They're so relaxing and um, colorful. And the whole series will have the same borders, the same size. The, uh, the paper is uh, 8 by 10 inches, and it is the same paper that's used for uh, business cards. Well, that is the drawing. I uh, set it down and you could uh, take a snip with your computer if you wanted to copy it. <clears throat> This is uh, quinacridone magenta. The tube was given to me by um, an artist from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. It was Windsor Newton. Lucille Lowe. She's a very good artist. She was very generous with her colors and sharing her knowledge.
I learned a lot from doing these little line and wash drawings. You can uh, set aside the busy life for a while and just sit down and puddle with a little piece of paper and a pencil and a pen and come up with some little creation that you enjoy, something you like. And the cost is very, very minimal. You can do it for a lifetime, have a lifetime of pleasure. I've known people who've taken up hobbies that cost a fortune, take all of their time, cause them more anxiety than, <laughs> than pleasure. One person we know purchased donkeys to ride them up and down in the Grand Canyon. Well, he didn't have much time for riding the donkeys. He spent most of his time, his, of his free time, taking care of them. This is sap green. Now I'm going to let it dry and sort of start over again with the ax putting on the accents and giving the petals some form.
I just have water on the brush now and I'm blending the colors on the petals. This is burnt umber and burnt sienna mixture. All of the colors are Windsor Newton. I bought a box of Windsor Newton watercolor tubes to refill my little trays. Well, just adding a little touches to it. I think the border is rather neat for uh, floral arrangements. Giving the leaves a little bit more form. Well, there we are. I like it. I like it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you will take up watercolor and line and wash or just watercolor. You can get a lifetime of pleasure from it. Thank you for watching. And do subscribe. It, it makes a big difference to, to me if you do subscribe and like it.